Well, praise the Lord. We've got a little scripture for you tonight. If you turn with me to Romans chapter number 10, verses number 17, a very familiar set of scripture to you. And it says this, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. We want to talk to you tonight about some things that we get from the word of God. Right here, the first one is faith. Things that we get through the word. The word through means because of, as a result of, uh, because of, as a result of, I can't, think, I can't think of the other one. But you and I, we get faith because of the word. Because we read it. Because we live by it. You see, today, if we didn't act upon what the Word of God says, we really wouldn't be getting faith from it. If we didn't believe what it says, it's things we get through the Word. When we, when we read that Word of God today, I receive faith from it. And I, 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 I become faithful when I do what the Word of God tells me to do. It's things we get through. We not only get faith through the Word of God, but we live and uh, we live and have mortality and are manifested in us. Second Timothy one and ten says this, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who had the abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. You and I today, when we put our faith and trust uh, in the word, when we believed it, when we trusted that Jesus Christ died on Mount Calvary, we received life uh, through that word and immortality and light uh, through the gospel. We understood things. When we believed in it as a result uh, of our belief, as a result of us putting the word into action in our life. The things that we get through the word are not only faith and not only uh, life and immortality, but we get a clean way. Psalms uh, 119 and 9 says, Wherefore all shall a young, young man cleanse his ways by taking heed unto thy word. When you and I not all hear the word and we live by the word, it, it causes a clean way. This is things that we get from the word of God. Amen. As a result of reading it and believing it and putting it to action in our life, we not only receive faith and life, immortality, we receive a clean way. Psalms 119 and 11 tells us this, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Their, their holiness we get through the word of God. When, why? Because what did it say? When I hide it in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. All it has to do here today, what we get as a result of reading the word of God, of lit, trying to live out that word of God in our life, through it, because of, as a result of doing those things, we not only receive faith and life and mortality, when we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, when we believed it, put faith in it, and then we acted upon it and asked him to forgive us of our sin, we got life and immortality. We got a clean way when we read the word and we and we believed it, amen, and then we acted upon it and lived by it. We, we receive holiness when we hide it within our heart that we might not sin against God. All these things are results of the word of God. We receive strength from the word of God. Psalms 119 and 28 says, My soul melteth for heaviness. Strength through me according unto the word of God. We get strength from the word of God. When we believe it, when we trust in it, when we act upon it, we get hope from the word of God. Psalms 119 and 49 says, Remember the word up upon thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Man, when I when I pick up the word of God and I read, I get a lot of calls for hope. The Bible tells me dark may be the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Because I pick it up, I, the psalmist here was saying, remember, Lord, the word which caused me to hope, the word that caused me to hope in dark may be the night, but joy is coming in the morning. 
These are things we get through the Word. Faith, life and immortality, a clean way, holding the strength and hope. And we get comfort and quickness. Look what it says. Psalms 119 and 50 says this. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. Oh man, when we get discouraged today, isn't it good that we've got something to pick up that we can get hope through and strength through and a clean way through and life and immortality through and faith through it? The Word of God. I like that. Psalms 119 and 105 says, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Whoo, hallelujah. I like that. We can get things settled in the word of God. Psalms 119, 89 says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Isn't it good that there's something there's no question to? I mean, really, God's word is true and it don't matter what me and you think. It's the truth. It's the gospel. I believe it. It's why I have faith in it. It's why I have life and immortality in Christ because I acted upon that faith. It's why that if I live by it, I'll have a clean way. It's why I have strength and hope and comfort in the word of the scripture. And finally, I can know that things are settled. This is the way it's going to be. When I read it in the word of God, I know it's going to be that way. You and I get wisdom through the word. In Psalms 119 and 98, Though thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. Man, made us wiser. His commandments, what's said in the word of God, made us wiser than our enemy, the devil. Why? Because we know to turn to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Psalms 119 and 33 tells us that the word of God gives us the right steps to take. That's what we get through the word. Order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Man, we, we can know the right way to take. That's something we get through the word. Not only faith and life and immortality and a clean way and holiness and strength and hope and comfort Amen. And a light to our path and a lamp to our feet. Not only can things be settled in our lives, we can receive wisdom, but we can know the right steps to take. And sanctification can be found through the Word. St. John 17 and 17 says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy Word is truth. Oh my. Acts 20 and 32 tells us this. And now, brethren, I command you, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. He commend us to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build us up, able to make us strong, able to make us fight this fight of faith. And finally, the what we get through the word of God is food. Matthew 4 and 4 says, But he answereth and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Spiritual food. Spiritual food to have strength and hope. Amen. In this life. Mm. And there's power. 1 Corinthians 1 and 18 says, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. When we hear the word of God preached, we can feel that power that generates from it. And finally, righteousness when we live by it. Psalms 119 and 123 tells us this, Mine eyes fail for thy salvation, for the word of thy righteousness man what we can get through the word we get faith we get life and immortality when we receive it, receiving that faith and believing and trusting in Jesus Christ by walking in his way it cleanses our way and holiness and strength and hope and comfort and a light into our path amen 
praise the Lord, and a lamp unto our feet, that we can know what is settled in this life, wisdom, the right steps to take, sanctification. We can get built up. We can receive the food and the power of God. The Word gives us so much. The Word is key. When we read the Word of God, the results that we can receive in our life, when we hear the Word of God and we apply it to our lives, the results that we can see from it. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Most righteous Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this Word. Lord, we thank you for your Word that gives us so much. Lord, that we receive so much through. Lord, help us today not only, not only to read it, but to apply it to our lives. Lord, that we can see all that the Word of God has to offer and give us. And Lord, we're going to give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.